Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're gonna be comparing Windows Server 2016 versus 2022. And we're gonna do this comparison at a basic level, but hopefully this could help you decide between the two or just have a better understanding of the different versions of Windows Server. Now, before we get into that, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows Server, or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software, we'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're gonna start with an overview of Server 2016, and then we'll do a quick overview of Server 2022, and then we'll kind of compare and contrast the two of them. So 2016 is the oldest version of the operating system, and it was built around the same time as Windows 10. Microsoft launched Windows Server to meet the growing demand for cloud computing. Server enhanced network security and offered seamless Azure integrations. Here are a few of the notable features of Windows Server 2016. First, we have built-in anti-malware protection, automatically enabled for increased security, smooth remote desktop performance, quick integration with Active Directory, installation of nano server that are used for running cloud-based and container-based applications, storage replicas, and several proxy improvements like the conversion of HTTP to HTTPS. Although Windows Server 2022 edition was designed to enhance security and provide better control for the user, it is an outdated version. The company has introduced the 2022 edition with advanced security parameters and secure functions that offer the best protection against all cyber threats. Now, we're gonna quickly overview Windows Server 2022. So due to the growing cases of cyber attacks, Microsoft introduced a more advanced and robust version of Windows Server. This latest addition helps businesses manage their day-to-day -day operations, remote and in office, super smoothly. It also supports hybrid cloud integration, allowing your teams to get a consolidated view of all IT operations in a single centralized Place. There are three different types of the Windows Server 2022 edition. This is going to include Essential, Standard, and Data Center. Standard edition is going to give you a single license, while the Essential plan is for small companies, 25 to 50, and those looking for multiple Hyper-V virtual machines are going to want the Data Center. It has features more similar to the standard edition, but it has certain advanced security tools like protected VM. Now, Microsoft also launched the Azure edition, which has many new and advanced features that are missing in the older versions. Now, here's some notable features of Windows Server 2022. Advanced firmware protection with hardware root of trust. Secure connectivity with HTTPS protocol running on default. Internet Explorer is replaced by Microsoft Edge, which offers better security and a faster network. Automatically uninstalls new drivers drivers or update that cause Windows malfunction and excellent storage migration options. We're now going to compare and contrast the two a little bit and then we'll kind of draw a conclusion at the end. So the biggest difference between 2022 and 2016 is the advanced storage function. 2022 edition has storage migration functionality which enables users to transfer storage to Azure easily, whereas 2016 doesn't have a storage migration function. Another addition to the 2022 server is SMB compression. The files are automatically compressed when they are transferred from your network. Next, we're gonna talk about security. The Windows Detection Advanced Threat Protection is the most crucial security component in Windows servers. It was introduced in the 2019 edition and got an upgrade in the 2022 edition. Unfortunately, it is missing in the 2016 edition. The main security upgrades that you'll find in the 2022 edition are hardware root of trust, advanced firmware protection, and virtualization-based protection. These features make the latest Windows Server edition better and comparatively safer than its previous counterparts. Next, we're gonna cover networking. A lot of people are switching to Server 2022 because it offers the latest version of transport layer security, otherwise known as TLS. The 2016 variant came with TLO, to ensure a quick TCP connection setup. However, if you're looking for the best connection, the 2022 variant has used TCP High Start++ to establish a secure and fast connection while minimizing the risk of packet loss. It's highly recommended for businesses that want to improve their IT infrastructure and enable an improved networking experience for employees. And the last area that we're going to compare and contrast is the cloud management. 2022 is by far the best in this area. If your workforce operates remotely or in a hybrid setting, you need Windows servers that offer excellent cloud management. 2022 introduced 
hybrid clouds. It also features many advanced functions that were not released with the 2016 or 2019 servers. Examples include the event workspace and admin center. All right, so the conclusion that I'm going to draw is that Windows Server 2022 edition has not only upgraded security and networking tools, but it comes with many new features that are unavailable in the previous counterparts. Although the other two versions are still supported, it's advisable that you switch to the latest Windows Server edition, especially if you're running 2016. This server is compatible with Azure and it is a reliable solution for all businesses from small scale companies to multinational corporations. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop those in the comment section below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed the video, we'd really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe, and share. And again, check out those links in the description if you're interested in your own copy of server or other Microsoft software. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.